Hey everyone, welcome to our first video for this channel. Uh, just going to start telling you a little bit about the channel and what I'm trying to get done with it. So I've been uh, a fan of these little cars for a long number of years, but I've just recently started to collect them again as an adult. I had them when I was young and, and I've always fancied them, but I've never really taken the time as an adult to get back into my uh, collection. The cars I had when I was a kid are long gone. Either my mom sold them at the yard sale or they got left behind in a move or two or whatever the case is. I'm basically starting from scratch in my collection. And when you start getting back into collecting these Hot Wheels, Matchbox cars, Johnny Lightning, whatever it is you're into, it's really kind of daunting because, you know, they've been producing the cars for 50 years or more. In the case of Matchbox, I believe it's 60 plus years. So there's a tremendous amount of uh, inventory out there. There's multiple companies that make all sorts of different products at all different price points. So the main thing for me was trying to figure out, you know, how I can fit into this hobby with my budget. And that's a big thing is is deciding what your budget's going to be. And that, that's also one of the beautiful things about this hobby is $2 a week, a dollar a week, you can, you can buy a car, uh, one of these Hot Wheels or a Matchbox car. For as little as, as a dollar a week, you can wind up with 50 cars at the end of the year. And that's a pretty substantial collection. Uh, so it's, it's really something pretty inexpensive to get into, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I didn't know really where I was going to go with the collection or how I was going to do it. So I decided to start just buying what I saw and what I liked and, and figuring it out from there. Um, um, one of the things I looked at is these little symbols right here. Uh, the cars are kind of grouped. You'll see this is a, one of last year's cars. There was 365 different models in the mainline set. Uh, for those of you who, who are new like I am, mainline set is just standard cars. When you go into your Walmart, your Target, your uh, dollar stores, the cars you see hanging in the rack in these packaging or similar packaging that are around the dollar price point, those are your mainline cars. Uh, they're, they're not premium, although they're, I mean, this one looks pretty slick to be just a standard car, dollar car, but uh, it, it's just your standard cars. It's a, and it, they call it a main line, just the main production, production line. So uh, they're also, uh, so they're in a group of, you know, this is car number 128 of 365. They're also in a subset, Hot Wheels Flames, HW Flames. And you can see a, there's a little logo here that makes it easier to keep up with or identify the cars when you're looking at them on, on what they call the pegs, you know, the little hangers that they're hanging on in the store. And then there's 10 cars in that series, and this is the fifth car in that series. So I bought this car because uh, I'm a sucker for muscle cars and because it kind of fit into a plan I had of, of trying to collect um, several different cars from a particular casting or particular model. When they refer to a casting, these cars are metal and the casting is the mold that they use to, to mold this car and they'll reuse that same casting through the years and have just different variations. So when I saw this car I was pretty excited because it was you know, I just started. It's 2019, September 2019. This is uh, uh, one of last year's cars, and I was happy to find it because I had already purchased um, a, another of the same casting, the Custom 67 Pontiac Firebird. I purchased this from a GameStop. And I thought it was a really nice, this is a kind of a special 50, year 51. You see the 51 at the door. Um, you see the, the gold tone on the motor. You see the yellow um, tint on the window. Really, really nice looking vehicle. Muscle car, 61 Pontiac. Uh, beautiful car. Uh, really nice, really nice car. Something that really caught my eye and I had to have it. I, I spent, I don't know, two dollars and change on this one from GameStop. Uh, right at two dollars. Uh, well worth it. But then when I saw this one, 
And I noticed it was the same casting. It was it was a no-brainer because it was a beautiful core to begin with, and um, it matched something else I had in my collection. So that's where I decided I was going to start. Now, one thing I want to do with this channel is I'm going to go through this whole process of collecting, and I'll make some mistakes, and I'll overspend on some stuff, and miss some opportunities on some other stuff. But I'm going to kind of share with you what I find when I go shopping. I go to Targets, I go to Walmarts, I go to the Dollar Generals, the Dollar Trees, you know, pretty much anywhere um, that would carry these things. And you'd be surprised at how many places actually do carry them. Uh, and then I'm going to take them home. I'm going to show you kind of what I got, my, my haul for that day or that weekend. And then we're going to open them up. Um, and there's been a lot of talk and you can you can read different forums and different watch different videos and, and people have different um, philosophies on whether or not to keep these things in the cards or keep them open. To me, these are toys and uh, these are be beautiful toys. I mean, they're they're really collectible toys. But at the end of the day, if you can't play with it, in my mind, it's not a fun toy. So I'm going to carefully just open this package. I know there's all sorts of people have all sorts of theories on how to do it. But I'm just going to use this little pen knife that I got at a trade show and just make some slits in here. Open that thing up and see just how nice. Because I'm telling you, these cars are nice in the blister packs. The uh, packaging, super. they look super great. But then when you get them in your hand and you can feel the weight of them and you can flip them over, you can read the, the bottom here. Uh, let's see if you can get that. Yep, Custom 67 Pontiac. Um, there's also a number here. It says K49. That tells you when it came off the line. There's a lot of information on these cars. Look at that interior. It's bright silver interior. Uh, this car will probably never be worth hundreds of dollars like the cars from the late 60s and 70s are. But it's super sweet to me to have two cars. You can hold them side by side, display them side by side. They they almost look like two completely different cars, but they're same casting, same same body, same year. Just really beautiful car. So yeah, I love these cars, and and uh, it'll be fun to kind of develop the channel and develop a relationship, and we'll collect these things together and and see how we do. Thanks for tuning in, and and we're gonna have a lot more content coming up next week. I think I bought seven or eight cars. Um, and we're going to open them all up, take a look at them, and uh, see if it's a car that you'd like to add to your collection or, or um, just take a look at them and, and something you can just appreciate. And uh, let's have some fun with this because after all, these things are toys and toys are meant to be fun. And uh, this is going uh, to be a lot of fun. Thanks a lot. See you next week.